Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Okay, I need to stock up. Hi guys, I'm Eileen, and today we're gonna look back at the best crying moments from growing up Eileen. Why are you guys crying? <laughs> Is she seriously crying right now? Cry pretty crying. I'm nervous to look back at these old clips because we probably look really cringy, but I'm excited, so let's get to it. Today we're at Viva Beauty Salon, and my brother Armando and my sister Eileen are gonna get their haircuts today. She's never had a haircut. I am nervous because this is the first time she gets a haircut, so it's kind of kind of weird for me, you know? Okay, I already know she's about to cry right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. So dramatic. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Oh my god, mom, literally. What the? See, this annoyed me because it's like just hair, and my mom was crying over Elena's hair. And my dear Bertha's crying too? Oh my god. Get her face. <laughs> I like it. Oh my gosh, she said she didn't like it. That's why I didn't want to be it. It looks fine. It looks so pretty, baby. <laughs> oh my god, my Maluli's crying. I don't know why I'm crying though. It's just the haircut looks still. That was the first time Elena has cut her hair since she was born. Hey, baby, cheeky. So it was kind of like a big deal for her to get her hair cut, and that's why they were crying. But I didn't cry. I was totally for Alina getting a haircut, so I was like kind of glad she was getting a haircut. And I love seeing people in, with new looks, and I loved her new look. But it's just hair grows back, so. And no, she has not got a haircut since that day. And it's just ah, so emotional for me. I'm gonna tell you something about this this street, Eileen. This street is trippy because it has a lot of body shops, and I remember my dad used to literally cruise it through here and look at every body shop inside. So Papa Mundo's my dad. Eileen was really little when my dad passed. My dad loved her, like... Here we go, Kelly. And right before my dad passed, Helene was like two or three years old, I sat her on the bed. I made her grab his hand, and I said, Dad, I mm -hmm. promise you that this girl's gonna do something. I promise you. Uh. Oh my God, why am I about to cry? That is so emotional, what the heck? I know he's proud of me, and I know he's proud of my daughter. He always loved to kiss her, and she was like, <clears throat> She always said no. And I think that's why he was like, you need to take care of her because this little girl has an attitude. This picture is so cute. Oh my god. Okay, I need to stop. Like my Papa Mundo is like everything to us. Like we all miss him. And we wish he was here because I know I would have been his little princess. I don't care how jealous my tia gets. Mira, te voy a enseñar que aquí vivíamos tu papá mundo y yo. Mira, aquí caminábamos él y yo. Siempre le decía que yo no quería vivir aquí. Yo quería que nos fuéramos para allá para tener nuestros hijos oh, allá porque allá uno vivía mejor que aquí. Aquí nos sentábamos y mirábamos hasta allá. Oh my gosh, she's oh, crying. Y yo quiero que tú seas una niña mejor, ¿ok? So cute. I feel like me and my grandma can relate so much. Looking back at that trip, it it had so much more meaning than I thought. Cause like looking back at the clips, like right now. Um, after like all the stuff that's been going on recently in my life that shows like that just gives me more meaning and more like motivation because my grandma did it and she did whatever she could to have a better life and you know didn't care about what anybody else said what their opinions so I'm definitely on the same boat as her and I definitely like love her vibe <laughs> grandma vibes, motherly vibes oh my gosh she's so cute I love her are you serious? Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, you look cute. What the? Armando dressed up as a police officer. He looks exactly like my dad. And my moms are crying about this. Oh my god, he looks like his dad. <laughs> is she seriously crying right now? <laughs> I said, is she seriously crying right now? Oh god, you look like your dad. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, I cannot. And that wasn't even a moment to cry. It was supposed to be like a funny moment. And she's crying about it. Like, wow. And maybe like Armando looked like the young version of my dad and that's when she met my dad. And like, that's when my dad first got his job as a police officer. So maybe it brought her back memory. So I kind of get it, but still, she's dramatic. Maybe if I cry when Armando graduates and as a police officer, then you guys can come at me. But right now, you can. I don't know if I want you with the mustache yet, but that looks cool. What do you guys think? So I made my decision. I want fancy. If you want a cat at the house, raise your hand. Oh my god. If you want to wait 
a little bit of time time to get a cat, let's raise our hand. Cats are a lot of responsibility. There are a lot of responsibility, mamacita. And I think with our busy schedule and everything, it might not be a good idea to have a cat at home. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry for her. I feel so bad. I'm a bitch for that, but still. Yes, I'm a bitch for that. Oh my God. I wasn't like, oh my God, I feel so bad. But then I kind of did because she was really like expecting that cat. I feel so bad now. What the heck? We're so mean to her. At that moment, I wasn't even sad. Now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> wow. I can't believe myself. But look, a lot of people were getting so upset that we were making her cry because we didn't want to get a cat. But we got a dog, and so she's happy with Dash. She's always running around with him. Elena, I'm sorry that at the moment we made you feel so bad. But look, now you have Dash, so we're all good. Okay, there I'm done. I feel like you should talk to him so he can like feel Loosen comfortable. Right and maybe apologize a little bit. Um, first of all, I looked really cute that day. It's not just a party, it's like life in I general. All right. <laughs> My mom was crying about Armando growing up basically. Why are you Because she doesn't have a no, because she doesn't have a son. So when I like when Zeke is like grown or whatever, like can you have this conversation with me? I I promise. I don't know what it is with my mom crying about Armando all the time. Okay. You'll get it, sister. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Literally, I'm never getting pregnant in my life. <laughs> I said I'm never getting pregnant in my life. Maybe because I saw how emotional my mom and my dad were being that I was just like, oh my god, I do not want to have kids right now because I don't want to be like that. One day the boys are gonna grow up and get married and now another girl is going to win their heart. Sorry. Thank you guys for coming to Armando's Quince Kickback. This is like towards the end of Armando's birthday party. And I just want to take this moment to say happy birthday, Pa. Thank you, Mom. And I know that I've been a little tough on you, <laughs> my face, but it's really hard for me to see you grow up, Pa. I promise you that I'm gonna ease up on you when it comes to, you know, girls because I trust you. Aww. I was surprised that my mom, you know, kind of eased off on him and like, you know, kind of agreed with us because usually she doesn't like budge like that easy. I'm glad that we like were able to like, you know, talk her into like changing her perspective about things. So. <laughs> Yes, so cute, my homecoming proposal. <laughs> like, it was so cute when I was speechless. She definitely deserved this because like, I know what she's been through at such a young age. It like warmed my heart because I was like, oh yes, girl, like, you got a good one. Amira, she was crying for me. <laughs> like, where the f is my dad? <laughs> oh my God, literally. Oh, she turns everything into something funny after a while. She's always the type of person to get emotional, but then after like two seconds, she's literally fine. So thank you. Yeah, I love you. I don't think I can do what my sister does on a daily basis. You do a good job. Thank you. Ew, why am I such an emotional bitch? Why are you guys crying? <laughs> okay, let me get my shit together. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I feel so bad because I find like, it funny when they cry. It's just like everything oh you do, God. I'm just like, damn, I'm like, you're hella old, and you still do all of this, like, what the hell? My tia Lily was very sentimental because, you know, my mom didn't show up to the photo shoot because she was upset. My tia Lily definitely realized that we do need my mom in moments like that. When we go through these little moments where we get all like upset at each other, I feel like they bring us closer because they teach us like a lesson. Thank you, sister. To, you know, just kind of like move on and just like, you know, learn from what we like what we go through. How am I gonna be mad at you? I know you're a bitch. You're a bitch. <laughs> Good thing I'm wearing my cry pretty lashes because I've been crying hella ugly. Like, I look cute right now, so, you know, cry pretty. Thing. If anybody out there feels helpless or alone or anything, I just want you guys to know that it'll get better. Don't lose hope because that's something that I didn't do. I never lost hope and it got better for me. So it'll get better for you guys. Whatever oh, you do in life, good or bad, people will always have something to say, but if it makes you happy, then do it. Yes, girl. 
Just be yourself. It does get better. You guys just need to be yourself. Don't care about what other people think. That's like the number one thing you can't do with care about what people think. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. There's always a rainbow after a storm. What else? Nail polish for your acrylics. We're very proud of you. You know, you've been doing a good job and we just can't wait to see what the future has for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. You reminds me of my dad's world. Oh my god, literally, why does my mom never stop crying? Like, her tears are never ending. Is it important to everyone? It is important. Because my mom's getting old. Aww. I just don't want to miss. I don't want to miss important moments with okay. my mom. And she says that when she sees all her kids together, it makes her happy. Family's family, and you don't want to go all this time without, you know, spending time with each other and just like, you know, living in the moment. Our family gatherings are super fun, and like family moments like that are super cute, and I, I just, I hope they never end. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what other moments you guys would want me to revisit on Growing Up Eileen. And make sure to keep on watching Growing Up Eileen for more crying moments. Okay, bye!